Now that you're a registered eBay member, you'll want to add a method of payment to your eBay account so that you can pay your seller fees that eBay charges anyone who sells an item on the website. We'll discuss fees in depth later, but you'll want to set up your eBay account so that you can list items and pay the seller fees to eBay for those items. You may want to add a credit or debit card, a checking account, or you can use a PayPal account to pay your seller fees eBay is very secure and safe, and your accounts will not be charged until you list and sell items. You'll always be sent an invoice for your seller fees by email, and you can view your balance due when you have one on eBay. There's no monthly charge for having an eBay account unless you open an eBay store or set up subscriptions for other services. To add a method of payment, go to the eBay homepage and click on My eBay. Go ahead and sign in with your username and password that we created earlier. Check here to keep you signed in for the day. You'll then see some tabs on your My eBay page. Click on the Account tab. Then click on the Personal Information link over here on the left. Scroll down, and then you'll see the Automatic Payment method right here. You'll need to sign in sometimes periodically because eBay is concerned about your security and it makes sure you haven't walked away from the computer. Now you'll see a place where you can choose your automatic payment method. You have three choices here. You can pay with PayPal, direct pay, which is a checking account, or you can pay with a credit or a debit card. We're first going to try using the direct pay method, and then we're going to set up automatic payments. Since this is your first time selling on eBay, you first need to create a seller's account. It sounds a little mysterious, and maybe it sounds a little complicated, but in reality, creating a seller's account just means you need to provide the payment information for you to pay on your eBay fees. We're going to select the bank account here at the bottom, then we'll click Continue. Now we need to provide our bank account information. My name's already filled in, but I'm going to fill in the bank name. Then I need to put in the routing number and the checking account number here. Then I click Authorize. You also need to confirm your identity with eBay to prove that you are who you say you are. You know that I've already put in my bank account information and now I need to put in a debit or a credit card number. And then the expiration date. And the CVV number on the back of the card. Put in all your personal information. Then click continue. Now eBay wants to confirm your identity by phone and an automated computer will actually call you and you're going to get a confirmation code that you have to type in the next page. So once you're ready, make sure that the phone number is correct and then tell eBay to give you a call. Once you get the phone call from eBay, you'll go ahead and enter in the confirmation code here that you've received from the eBay computer. And you click continue and you're done. Now that you've added a method of payment, you're almost ready to start selling items. We're going to learn how to become ID verified in the next movie and later set up a PayPal account so that you can use it to receive money from your eBay buyers. Although you will not be charged anything by eBay right now, you'll have the ability to pay your eBay fees when you do.